Would you please um, tell us your testimony and how did you receive your healing? And what were the things you were struggling with in the first place? Well, I was struggling for a few years with uh, quite a few things, uh, COPD, asthma, and then the affliction of vertigo. And I went through many, many, many doctor visits and uh, was prescribed lots of medicine that I came to accept the fact that I was going to live like this for the rest of my life and deal with it. Now, how did I get my uh, healing? Quite by accident, to be honest with you. Um, my oldest daughter and uh, wanted to come to the Bob Larson conference, and she lives uh, in, an, in another state, and came to stay with me to get ready for it, and uh, said, Mom, uh, you want to go? And I go, no. She said, well, you know, it ain't going to hurt. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to go. So the day before, later in the afternoon, she come to me and said, Mama, uh, don't you want to go see and meet the people that your granddaughter, Haley, has been involved with? And I was sold. Lock, stock, and barrel. I'm going to go meet these people. I'm going to see what my granddaughter's doing. So I went. And my youngest daughter showed up with my other granddaughters. And we listened to the service, and it was time for Bob to perform his deliverance. And they called the people up to the front, and I never intended to go there whatsoever, but my daughter ran as fast as she could up there. And being her mom, I'm going, okay, this little girl, she's going to need my help. I'm going up there with her. I'm going to be standing there with her. I'm going to catch her as she falls. And we're standing there. And she's crying and crying. And I noticed behind me a young man of God from this church coming behind, checking. And then something happened to me that I still have no idea about. And I quit trying to guess, question, or anything else. A fog came across my head just fog I looked at my daughter and said I gotta go I gotta leave right now and I started to leave and my daughter grabbed me by my arms and said no mama mama stay please stay and I was fighting her to get away and by that time the young man had approached me and touched me and my spirit was in me. And I could see. And I could hear. But the words coming out of my mouth were not mine. And I was hollering and yelling that this young man was not going to touch me. No, he's not going to touch me. And, of course, I was raising quite a ruckus. And so they kind of asked me to leave and get out of there. So that was kind and they took me and set me down on the side and this young man kneeled down before me and touched me on my knees and he was praying and praying and praying and I couldn't understand a thing he said but, but he was praying and I felt something that I've never felt before in my whole entire 65 years a warmth from my feet started to engulf my body and the fog lifted come on let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ awesome what happened afterwards well I looked at that young man and said who are you and he said I am a man of God and then he escorted me out to a foyer, and he stayed with me, and he prayed with me, and they prayed with my daughters and my granddaughters. And at that day, not asking or expecting anything, my family 
was healed. Not just me, my family. Come on, come on. This is awesome. Wow. Praise God. And can you share with us how is your health now and the things that you were struggling with? How did you get healed? I walked out of the Bob Larson conference. I take a deep breath without coughing. I could walk with no pain. I mean, we were getting ready to buy me a wheelie cart to I get around. I walk. I went with my granddaughters yesterday to the mall for five hours and walked. Yes. Wow. 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 So now, the medication that you're holding, can you please share, what was it for? The one in the green is for COPD. It's called Kyovar that I had to take once a day, twice a day. This one here was every four hours or more if I needed it for asthma. This one here is brand new, completely full, and I've had it and never had to open it. This one here, I stopped using it that day and haven't touched it again. Put your hands together for God. Wow, praise God. So can you please share, um, how did those sicknesses affect your daily life? What you couldn't do that you now can't do? I couldn't do nothing. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I mean, to put it, my brother who lives with us had to vacuum my floors and sweep and scrub them because I couldn't, ha I didn't have enough breath to do it. I could not do it. Um, to walk, to do anything at any amount, of, I could not do it. Absolutely no way. And now I am up and I've already got my bathroom redone and restained and painted and done and working on my kitchen cabinets next and going to the mall with my granddaughters. Wow. God is good, amen. Patricia, can you please share one thing that you shared with me before the service about the ear problem that you had, please, and what happened? That was uh, an attack I had at my grandson's graduation party, and uh, it hit me and it floored me, and it is, it, behind your inner ear is a little bone, and uh, it helps your balance, and mine's gone. And so if I get too hot, uh, turn my head this way, and I'm doing it this way because I could not do that. Had I done that before, it would have dropped me on the floor. And I, I can do it. Wow. Awesome. Now, she mentioned to me that she always had to have another person in a car with her because she could not turn her head to look if there is another car driving this way or that way. And right now, do you have to have a person in your car to turn your head? Not at all. Not at all. Amen and praise the Lord. And I am so grateful. Put your hands together for God. What a powerful, powerful God. Now, with all these amazing things that happened to you, would you please share a word of advice to people who might find themselves in a similar situation with a family problem or sicknesses or in need of deliverance? What would you suggest? If anybody has any affliction whatsoever, pain, this is not from our Father. Give it to the Lord. Completely give it to the Lord and know in your heart and feel it and pray because he is the healer of all healers. 